Dave, we're back at it with another update on the 10-gallon Innovative Marine Fusion Pro. Let's go. Today we got the uh, XP Aqua Duet ATO, uh, the world's smallest dual sensor aquarium auto top off. And let me tell you, this thing is small. Perfect for this little 10-gallon tank. Um, reason we're adding the ATO is just due to the fact um, on such a small tank like this, your salinity swing can really be crucial, in my opinion. Uh, I'm not here all the time, uh, so adding a cup of water at the end of every day, it just gets tiring. I mean, heck, we... We all have other lives. I mean, yeah, you want to tinker with your, your salt water tank every day, and you're going to do it every day, but, I mean, life does get in the way. So by just setting up your little ATO and kind of set it and forget about at least that little problem. Uh, the little Duet ATO, super small. I think I picked it up for about a hundred, hundred and so dollars, probably about 120, give or take, with taxes and all. Um, got it from uh, Bulk Reef Supply. Uh, let's see. Pretty much, I mean, it's kind of just a self-explanatory um, pump, honestly. I mean, it's got simple, really simple directions. Um, comes with everything out of the box. You do not need to buy any other accessories. Um, I like it really comes with everything and everything is really standard um, directions on it. You pretty much can't screw it up. Um, then for the container we went with the uh, five gallon uh, Aquarion uh, aquarium and I think I picked it up at my local reef shop for um, ten dollars give or take you can even catch it on the Petco sale maybe I don't know if they have the five gallons for a dollar per gallon but if they do you can literally pick up that tank for five dollars if you just wait around the uh, top I picked up a piece of uh, acrylic from Lowe's and took a doorknob, a, a, a pull knob for a drawer and just drilled a hole in it and put it on top. I mean, nothing fancy, just you can literally pick out any one they got there. I just went with one. I changed out uh, all my fixtures on my cabinet and so I just had one laying around so I didn't have to buy that and just cut a little small corner off of one of the corners uh, to fit your hose, your hose through. And I mean, heck, you don't ha necessarily have to have a top, but I mean, you just don't want debris and you can actually lose your water due to evaporation without a top a little bit faster. So I just went ahead and put a top on there because I just didn't want to worry about debris and stuff like that getting into my pump. So, um, yeah, that's, I mean, this pump is literally pretty much self-explanatory. Uh, I think I hooked it up within about 10 minutes plus 15 minutes max, give or take. I mean, that's start to finish. I mean, that's unboxing, getting all your parts lined out, cutting your plexiglass, and everything and if you just give the measurements for your um, your tank the Home Depot or Lowe's will cut your plexiglass for you so you don't even have to worry about doing that um, but yeah that's pretty much it for this one uh, I hope you are liking the content uh, thank thanks for anybody that's watched this I mean it's really been a new learning experience for me on the whole YouTube thing. I would like 
if y'all have anything that y'all would like to suggest to me, hey, maybe this worked, maybe that didn't work. Um, maybe things that y'all would like to see, um, I can, I can probably try to fit in things that y'all would like to see. Maybe y'all got questions about something, but other than that, this is pretty much it for this video. Thanks, uh, thanks for watching.